we all desire that our lives be fruitful that job that we are working we want god to bless it either we get a promotion or that person who's troubling us something happens and a change takes place in our situation or maybe in your financial situation you want god to just pour out abundance you want god to bless you financially if you are going through a marriage crisis you want god to bring peace in that marriage or a family situation you want god to just take over the family and bless everyone we want our lives to be fruitful but what do we do for it well one of the things that we tend to do we that is all of us tend to do is we begin to seek god through fasting and prayer to change our circumstances to change our financial situation to change our family lives we fast and pray for a situation to change see the purpose i'm talking about the purpose sometimes we go into a season of prayer god bring about a change in my job so we pray for a change in the job sometimes we also begin to dig deep into the bible searching secrets of god to see how we can turn things around in our family see the purpose once again well is that right is that what we need to be doing Well when we go into John 15 Jesus tells us the secret to abundance life secret to a fruitful life look at it John 15 verse 4 to 5 it says it says they abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me and in verse 5 in the middle it says he who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit come on bears much fruit that's exactly what you and i want right bearing much fruit now what do we do to bear much fruit jesus says abide in me and i in you so the purpose of my fasting my prayer my reading the word should never be that i bear much fruit the purpose of my fasting my prayer my reading the word should be that i abide in jesus that he abides in me that i begin intimate walk with him that he and i would live a deep intimate relationship that he and i would begin to be very close to one another remember jesus himself tells martha one thing is needed in john 27 again there it says one thing i ask of the lord come on we need to understand the purpose of fasting prayer reading the word is so that i abide in god not for me to be fruitful what happens is when i begin to abide in him and he in me what follows is that i be fruitful that i begin to bear much fruit remember i don't fast pray read the word to be fruitful it's i fast pray read the word to abide in god and what follows is that i bear much fruit many a times we make this mistake even we preachers tend to tell people fast and pray you will get your breakthrough seek god read the word you will begin to know what god wants you to do to come out of your problem well we need to understand that we fast pray and read the word once again not for us to get out of problems but for us to abide in god and then what follows is our breakthrough that we begin to bear much fruit so once again abide in and you will bear much fruit i bless you